In this video, we're going to look at an online chemical equation calculator. So say you're given an equation like this here, and you've tried it, and you just can't get it. And you really want to understand how to balance this equation. Well, one of these online calculators can help you figure it out. So here's the one that I like to use. And the link for this is in the description of this video. So what you do is you copy your equation, or you type it in, and you put it in this search bar here. So I have the equation here. It gives me some examples if they're different equations similar. Maybe I have the wrong equation, but I know this is the equation I'm trying to balance. I hit balance the equation, and it gives me the balanced equation with the coefficients. So that's really nice. Now what I can do as someone that's trying to learn how to balance equations, I can go back and look at what I've done and compare them, work backwards from this equation to see how I might have done better, how to balance the equation. Sometimes you're given chemical equations that you can't balance at all. For example, if we put this equation in and we balance the equation, the entered reaction is impossible. That means no matter how hard I try, I'm not going to balance this equation. So sometimes you'll have copied an equation down incorrectly, and it's just impossible to balance. So this also helps you solve that problem. And it's nice because this calculator here, it'll suggest other reactions that do work. So maybe you just type the reaction incorrectly. The way I recommend using this tool, it really isn't cheating if you're using it to learn, if you're using it to become better at balancing equations. For example, something difficult like this equation, you might need some help on, especially if you're just starting out balancing equations. And I guess you could also use the redox methodology to balance this as well. But the point is you have this online calculator that you can use to help you when you're stuck with an equation to figure out what you could do differently to balance it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.